The properties of a parallelogram are as follows. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral, so the four angles inside it have to add up to 360 degrees. A parallelogram has opposite sides that are congruent, and this is in, signified in this way. Both pairs of opposite sides are congruent. They're also parallel. This side is parallel to this one, and this side is parallel to that one. The opposite angles are also congruent. This angle is congruent to this one, and this angle is congruent to this one. It has two diagonals that intersect at their midpoints. I will show that by drawing the diagonals. There's one of the diagonals, and here's the other. This is the midpoint of both the short diagonal and the long one. These are the properties of a parallelogram, but let's review them with this second parallelogram. I will start by drawing the diagonals. This is a midpoint, so the diagonals intersect at their midpoints. The four interior angles have to add up to 360 degrees. The opposite angles are congruent. I'll write that here. And the opposite sides are both congruent and parallel. If you become familiar with the properties of a parallelogram, you should be able to answer an awful lot of questions that could be asked in tests. Giving a parallelogram as a diagram, it can ask you questions about angles or sides, and these properties help you give the right answers.